Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Kayfabe. And I am sitting here with Stephen P. New and Adam Harris. And guys, there is something going on in the news today. Everyone's talking about it. Tony Khan basically bid Cody Rhodes adieu and said that he is going to be gone from AEW. This was not what I was expecting, fellas. I was not expecting to hear this news today. I have thought this whole free agent thing was a gimmick the whole time. Now they're actually saying that Cody Rhodes is not going to be a part of AEW anymore. And all of a sudden, all the dirt sheets are like, he's already in talks with WWE. And they're <laughs> gone. I mean, what is going on in a in a 24-hour span? Some new developments. Stephen P. New, what did you think when you heard this news? When I heard the news, I thought it was a work. I saw like the signed letter by Tony Khan or whatever. I, I really did think that uh, it's a work because of uh, well, what's gone on with Cody in the last. Now, wait, you said did. Weeks. Uh, you said did. Th that means you no longer think it's a work? Because I think I still think it's a work. I, I no longer think it's a work. Hmm. Really? Why is that? Well, when I saw all the list names of the guys and the girls, uh, response to what Tony Khan put out. Now, I don't know whether you've seen that or not. Uh, I think he would have included the guys and the girls, beginning with Matt and Nick, Nick Jackson to Omega, to everybody else. And then he names people in the office, beginning with Mega Parekh, uh, AEW's lawyer and vice president of legal affairs, right on down to people in the back. And then this is Cody Rhodes through, you're talking about. Yeah, this is Cody Rhodes. And then goes through almost the entirety of the AEW roster. It was like the original AEW roster. And where it got me, me that this is not a work, but this is a shoot. He named Amanda Huber and minus one. So what I will say is this. This is a work. You'll use a dead man's legacy, friend of yours legacy, and his orphaned child and his widow as part of a work. I want nothing to do. And I would have a hard time believing that Amanda Huber was in on that on behalf of herself, the company, minus one. I mean, m maybe she's receiving some type of benefits from AEW. I don't know. So wait, All wait, I'm wait, saying wait. is... Uh, you're saying that because Cody Rhodes thanked all those people and named her and the kid, that this can't be a work? It would be really troubling to me. Minus one and Amanda Huber as part of some elaborate work to make it look like him and Brandy were gone from the company. And it would disgust me, to be quite honest with you. Really? See, because I, I would think that they would be a part of it just like anybody else because, you know, they're wrestling fans. They understand the business and... But maybe you're right. Maybe it's not a work. I have thought all day that it's a work. I did not see that from Cody Rhodes. I did not see that uh, that comment from Cody Rhodes. But if I'm Cody Rhodes and I want you to believe it's a work, I would totally do that as well. Oh, it, and, and you're absolutely right. Uh, it does give it a little more uh, reality, uh, if you will, to name the entire original AEW roster to name the backstage people and the front office people like Mega Parekh and her assistants, the other people. Uh, and to thank Tony Khan along with the uh, other EDPs. I mean, I read Cody's statement not long after I read Tony's statement. And that was the takeaway that I have, Rez. I could totally be being worked here uh, like everybody else. I'm wondering, like, okay, so you say, you know, you could be getting worked here, and, and 
I, I'm not being worked because I think it's a work, but maybe I'm being worked by the work. I'm not sure <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Who knows what to think anymore? <laughs> well, shoot, shoot straight with us, Adam Harris. And tell us what you think, right? <laughs> what did you think when you seen this, and what do you still think now? I, you know, I was thinking it's a work. Steve makes a great point uh, about that, like bringing in the families into that to make it that that is a little off putting. There was nothing about the way it was written when I read it at first to me made me think it. I thought work totally, completely, and a work. You know, the fact that they each had their own crafted statements. But you know, hearing Steve's argument about that does make me think it's a little off putting that if it's if it is a work. Um, but you guys, who knows the long term of a work, right? This could come back to bite us two years from now. You know, nothing's going to happen immediately. I do not think he's going to WWE. I think he's a, still a major TV presence on TBS and TNT. There's no yeah. way, no way is right. he going to be showing up, man. Uh, that's that's my initial thoughts. Although I still could believe it being a work. Like AEW, not against using uh, uh, negative one and his uh, widow have another theory okay that it's a work shoot oh that you're in rest so mania season Cody is the ultimate free agent vince has already shown a willingness to open the forbidden door Mickey james all right now there were a lot of qualifiers on mickey's use you couldn't say knockout you couldn't call her a world champion. You had to call her the knockouts champion. And there were there were all kinds of qualifiers that the people backstage, the announcers, and everybody could not say with Mickey James appearing on WWE. She still showed up. So what if this is a work shoot whereby Vince, during WrestleMania season, lets Cody show up? He's technically not under contract with All Elite Wrestling. He's technically not under contract with World Wrestling Entertainment nor any other wrestling company. And Cody comes in just during WrestleMania season just to show up. And whether it's against Triple H or whether it's against somebody else, you've got Cody during WrestleMania season. Cody shows up. He wrestles uh, either Elimination Chamber or he comes out during el Elimination Chamber. And then he shows up at mania and he and and they just a guy who was just an aew evp and champion TNT champion is now in wrestlemania although not a main event he'd have some mid-card spot or some upper mid-card spot but and i could see vince attaching the same sort of to Cody as he did Mickey. You can't call him. You can't say the word elite. You can't refer to him as any having any reference to or affiliation with AEW, but we will let the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, along with Brandy, come here to WrestleMania, come here to WrestleMania and wrestle for WWE. Now, I like that theory. And you know what that theory reminds me of? Is it reminds me of the the plan that Eric Bischoff and Brian Pillman had the, the plan that they had for Pillman to show up in the WWE and then come back to WCW that never actually right. came to fruition. Uh, that kind of reminds me that whole theory reminds me of that. Sure. sure. And, and, and if Cody's not under any type of contract, or even if they did put him under a, a contract uh, with a 90 day out by WWE or, or whatever, uh, if they don't put him under contract, and it's one of these very limited, like I saw with Royal Rumble, uh, limited appearance contracts, uh, Cody could be back on PBS in no time. Well, see, the thing that made me think it was a work was what you mentioned, Adam, about TBS. He's got the TBS uh, affiliation there. And then I think about, okay, so he's not under contract as a performer for AEW. How does that change his role as the EVP? Would he not still be the EVP? Well, that's a great question. Yeah, they never said he was leaving his role as an EVP, although was the EVP line at work from the beginning? You know, yet again, here we are back in that in that stance. But that's a, that's a great point too, Brian. I mean, he could still very well be behind the scenes involved, although I have to say what my wife said, who's not a 
avid wrestling fan, but she knows who Cody and Brandy are. She's like, I said, Cody Le Rhodes is leaving uh, AEW and Twitter is melting. And she said, does he not like the way he's using himself? <laughs> not, yeah, does he not like the way he's using himself? Uh, that is definitely a really good comment. It, it's just, uh, it's kind of a weird situation because, you know, I, I believe it's a work out of instinct. But then what you said, Steve, brings up a really good point. But then, then I think about, well, you know, they're both, uh, you know, uh, Amanda Huber, right? Amanda Huber and, and her son are yeah. both really involved in professional wrestling. It's a, you know, it's, it's a whole thing for them. I, I understand. And it's not a bridge too far. I'm not saying it's the kind of thing that Amanda Huber wouldn't do uh, I mean, because let's be honest uh you pimped minus one out since brody lee's death so i'm not saying that it's the kind of thing that amanda huber wouldn't do i'm saying and i like adam's phrase a little bit better it's off-putting to me as a wrestling fan right uh, of course this is also coming from the guy who had his 16-year-old daughter at All-Star Wrestling having gimmicked up paintings being uh, bashed over Bobby Fulton's head by Tracy Smothers. Those were gimmicked? <laughs> Steve! So, Those you know, I don't paintings. know. I, 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 you guys know me. I don't like to seem like a hypocrite, but at Jim Cornette's request, I put my 16-year-old daughter in a wrestling <laughs> ring there for Gary Dameron's benefit and Jim Cornette's benefit. To, well, and to that, to and to that effect, Tracy's man. Smothers. <laughs> so, what's, so where's the difference? And, and it's just a – I mean, it's just really a post. You know, he's just posting. He's thanking people. It's a, like the only – I mean, I'm sure that he would thank them if he was leaving. I mean, he, if this is a work, he's doing exactly what he would do if he was really leaving. So he is playing the part. And it's I, I can I can see that. I can see that, Brian. I really can. And I'm not being critical. I'm not being one of these guys. Like I've seen some guys Oh, anybody who thinks this is a work is stupid. And da, 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 da. Adam said Twitter social media is melted down today. Congratulations, Tony Khan and Cody Rhodes. You, you've broken the Internet today. Uh, kudos but and i'm not being critical of anybody who thinks it's a work uh, i'm hoping there's some wrestlemania angle here and like the week after or or, or, or cody wrestles as the american nightmare on wouldn't this be something he wrestles wrestlemania sunday night or maybe even saturday night goes up to monday night raw and he's on Dynamite on Wednesday. So here's my question. I don't want to make this go too long, and we could speculate about this for a long time, but I hope I can jump in here with just one thought. But what does that do for AEW? Does, do, what, is the a, what is the average AEW fan who's a freak for all this stuff, what does it do to them if they see Cody jump ship for a little bit and then come back? Does it draw more attention, or does it, does well, it isn't that have the potential to bury Cody just by saying, well, he went back? Fuck you to the wwe if if you show up just to do wrestlemania and you roll straight back out is that not that's that's a good enough jab that it that it's okay i guess now uh, you guys know i can argue either side of any issue in the world that's what you get from, paid what makes do. you good at your that's job what I get paid to do. <laughs> from wwe standpoint i have long believed that WWE knows it needs healthy competition. WWE right now in 2022 needs AEW. WWE needed TNA all those years ago. WWE needs Impact and NWA and those other places because when a superstar really hones his or her craft, WWE is going to come and pluck them right out. So I could see this from WWE's standpoint being having Cody and sort of opening this forbidden door, that's going to get these diehard AEW fans and wrestling fans and just people in general, more eyes on us during WrestleMania season. If you've got all of the dirt sheets and all of the wrestling media and all of the regular media talking about how this AEW former EVP is going to appear at WrestleMania. 
So that's sort of one side of that. The other is if we get over it pretty quick. I wish Derek Jones was here with us because he's he's <laughs> he's an AEW uh, hardliner original, you know. And I don't think that those people would hold it. I don't hold it. Sound like Reznor. I don't think they would hold it against Cody for appearing on WrestleMania and then rolling right straight back to Dynamite. I, I can get down with that. I have another theory. What if Cody Rhodes decided to not re-sign with AEW because he heard that House of Kayfabe was going to be at this year's WrestleCade and he wants to be at WrestleCade? Maybe? maybe Exclusive to the House of Kayfabe. Okay, so maybe uh, not. But I do uh, want to... I, I have out. another one. Oh, well, I... I I, I had to drop something really quick. To be since I'm at the Bash and Beckley, <laughs> Cody Rhodes wants to hang out with Stephen B. New so bad that he wants to come to Beckley, West Virginia, on June the 11th. He can come. He's he's invited. All right. So uh, we've already got Cardona and Davy Richards. Well, that's not quite Cody Rhodes. So let's see if we can get Cody Rhodes to show up there or at least to WrestleCade. And I seen another WrestleCade announcement today. Rob Van Dam is going to be at WrestleCade this year. How awesome of an announcement was that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Fulton, Dylan Hines, big time wrestling, bringing in Rob, Rob Van Dam, the whole effing show. That's a huge announcement. Big and we've time. talked about Cody. I want to hear what you think about Cody. Let us know. You can sound off in the residence group on Facebook. You can also comment on the YouTube video. If you're listening to this on the podcast stream, you can go to YouTube, watch it on YouTube too, and then comment there and tell us what you think Cody Rhodes is going to do. We will be right back on the House of Kayfabe. <laughs> 